Morning guys, um, my skin's not doing great today, I woke up like this and um, it was really scabby yesterday which uh, was good because flaky means it's healing but then last night my face was really itchy and I rubbed a bit on my chin area and now it's some bits are raw and it's just not looking great i was meant to go visit my workplace but i just messaged my boss saying i can't come in today because my skin's not doing great and i'm really sad i couldn't go today because i wanted to so i'm just scratching my stomach <laughs> um I wanted because I'm going overseas next week and for a while and then I'm gonna move like I'm gonna move um, after I come back from Japan so and I haven't told my boss that yet I've been wanting to tell her but I haven't been able to visit so I thought I could finally tell her today but Turns out that I can't come in, so I might give her a call today. But I just want to get this off my chest. Okay, so I got some deliveries today. This is from Mugu, Mugu Makeup. Now, I'm not going to be wearing makeup anytime soon, but as you guys know, I'm going to Japan next week for three months. and maybe my skin will improve in those three months and i wanted to have options like if i did want to try makeup just a little bit like maybe my eyebrows or my lips or something um i just wanted to have options because i don't want to risk having no options for makeup and maybe like i don't know maybe i want to try i may or may not use it but i just bought them just in case so i bought like a makeup beginner set i can't remember what it was called but it was like a set of makeup um all the makeup i own now are just like regular makeup they're not for like sensitive skin so and Mugu makeup is all like natural and they're originally a skincare brand um, but they have like a makeup range as well. Uh, this one is the Mineral Blush in Golden Delicious. Such a nice colour. This one's the Mineral Lip Gloss in Sunflower. This is vegan makeup by the way. Mineral foundation in light, light medium. I've never used mineral foundation before. I used to use like a cream base one. This one's the eyebrow pencil. Is this, is this it? I thought the BB cream came with it, but nope. And lipstick. Why does it not have the lipstick? Hmm. Today we are headed to the good guys to get myself a new GoPro. <laughs> I picked the GoPro Hero 10 and I'm so excited to try it out. You got that. Hey guys, I just came back from the good guys and bought the GoPro Hero 10. That'd be nice. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Should I open it now? Let's open it. that's what I bought just then I will go home and try it out 
night we did an early celebration for my sister's birthday. We gave her some flowers and then that night we went to have Japanese barbecue together and it was so yum. Um, we did it early, we did the celebration early because I was going to be in Japan during her birthday so here we are. The next day we were busy packing our whole house because the removalists were coming in like two days and we had to pack everything up before they came and it was so busy because we had to pack for Japan as well as well as our whole house for moving so yeah. Hey guys, so I am still packing. I just wanted to get the camera running because I f oh, because I found something and I wanted to show it to you guys. It's a professional photo I took for my work and this was like maybe three years ago. We have a photo day every year and they take staff photos as well. And I just want to show you guys because I have a mini backstory to this. So this is the photo of me in 2018, I think. And okay, so backstory of this, the day of the photo day, I did not know it was photo day. So I didn't come prepared. I My hair was oily because I didn't wash it for like two, three days. And I had no makeup on whatsoever. And I was like, oh my god, no. Like, why today? It, I was like in the worst condition possible. Um, and But I had to take one. So I took it. And so then the next year, I said, okay, I'm going to be fully prepared for this one. So I wore makeup. I washed my hair. I did everything. And this is the photo of the year after this one. Looking back at it now, honestly, this isn't so bad. And I, when I saw this photo back in 2018, I just hated it so much. I hated how I looked in the photo. And I told my boss, oh my god, I hate it so much. I just, I can't. But looking back at it now... Honestly, like, going through TSW is a really humbling experience. And it when I look, look back at my photos of when I had clear skin, it feels like I'm looking at a different person. You know when you look at yourself in the mirror? Because you see yourself every day, you don't really, like... Ooh, it's a spider. It's a small one. But not one of those thin ones. Anyways. Um... When you see yourself every day, it's hard to see yourself from what other people see you as, if that makes sense. And going through GSW made me see myself, my old self, my the one with the clear skin, through like as if I'm not that person. Like, oh my god, I'm I suck at explaining things. I don't know what I was seeing before like it's no makeup natural look eyebrows up nicely shaped like it's, i think it's better than this one and when i took this one the second one i loved it like makeup was on my lips are pink and i was so happy with this one but it's honestly a humbling experience you can see I can see myself from a different perspective now the things I do to have this look back why did I hate this so much oh my skin's so clear anyway I'm gonna continue packing because I've only got Four more days till I leave for Japan 
and then after that i'm moving to melbourne so i have to pack everything remove this coming in two days so technically i have we have to pack everything up in two days i'm headed to my workplace um to say bye to everyone and i'm so excited to see the kids i, I used to work in a child care so oh, i haven't seen the kids in seven eight months now so exciting it was so so nice to see the kids again and i gave them all a big hug and they gave me this really cute card hey everyone so from yesterday i've been staying at my parents house and i'm leaving for japan in two days i got a delivery today and I was worried that it wasn't going to come on time because it came from the UK, I think. Um, but I ordered this multi strain biotic from Hana Silito. Um, I saw this on Instagram and I saw like such great results from a lot of like their clients, so I thought I'd give it a go. I didn't know how long it was going to take to come here and because I'm leaving in two days, I was worried that it wasn't going to come on time. But it came today, so I'm so relieved. Um, I'm going to try this from today. And another thing I wanted to share with you guys is how my hands are doing. Because they're not doing so great. Um, it was about maybe like three weeks ago, maybe two and a half weeks ago my hand flared up really badly and it was just really really sore and now it's formed like crust and it's formed flakes this one this hand's not as bad as this hand but it's all scabby now and um yeah i'm happy it's starting to heal but I've been wearing those um, fingerless gloves. But yeah, my arms are doing well. It's just my hands. And my face is doing okay. Like you can see, I was in a flare a few weeks ago, like you guys saw. Um, but that's starting to heal just in time for Japan. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. This is our last brunch in Sydney. We found this really nice cafe. It was gluten free and this matcha latte was so good. It's finally time to board the plane to Japan. Hi everyone. So I just, no, actually I woke up like an hour ago. Um, it's my first day in Japan. I arrived last night and oh gosh, last night. I had this massive itch attack on my face and my chest. Oh boy, that was a real tough one. I tried not to scratch it, but I did. Like I tried not to scratch my face because I have a lot of plans this week. And I'm going to like Osaka a lot next week. And yeah, everything's just like happening so i didn't want to stuff my, stuff up my face but i scratched my chest and it got so weepy i sat up for a while because i didn't want to lie down because it felt so uncomfortable so i was sitting up for a bit until um my skin dried up but then I did get a good sleep afterwards, so I'm feeling pretty good. But um, I was really scared when I woke up this morning because I know that I did a little bit of scratching and I just didn't know what to expect because it could have been really bad. So I was really scared to see the mirror, but I just went to the bathroom and it's not bad at all. Maybe tomorrow when it like scabs up a bit, it might look a bit worse. Who knows? We'll see. But today, not looking that bad, but you can see 
the raw skin on, on, on my chin and my neck and a bit near my eye, eyes. So yeah, I'm getting my nails done today. Thank God, because, oh gosh, I don't even want to show you guys. It's so bad. Four out of five have chipped off. And the other hand, two out of five. It's really bad. I did them myself, but I used a different nail like kit and it wasn't good. But I'm so glad I'm getting it done today because I... I don't want to show up to places with these yucky nails. But yeah, I'm at my boyfriend's parents' house. And they were so nice. And we had fun catching up last night at dinner. And yeah, I think the reason why I had the massive itch attack last night was because I've been avoiding sugar for a long time. But last night I had like a, um, because I don't drink alcohol. My boyfriend's, um, this ume, ume syrup, um, uh, mixed with sparkling water. And, you know, syrup always has sugar in it. Um, but I had a bit and then it was really good and then I had another one. So I think that's what caused the itch because it was really intense and <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to be careful with what I eat from now. Today, me, my boyfriend and his brother decided to go out to get ourselves some lunch because their parents were out today and it was such a nice weather and going to the shops in japan like the shops are really fun to go to um like even the grocery shops so yeah it was really fun finally got my nails done today and they are looking so so cute although they took hours and hours to do the next day we went to the fish market to get some fish for that night um i'll be including clips like daily clips like this so that you guys can see how shops in japan and like life in japan looks like <laughs> oh my god the day has come it was finally time to chop my hair off and get myself a fringe because i came up with a way to cover my forehead which was making a fringe so i haven't had a fringe in like 20 years so i was really nervous but it came out all right what do you guys think Good morning. Please don't mind my fringe. I'm just clipping it together so they they don't like split. Anyways, um, my skin's very flaky and scabby today. It does look painful, I guess, but it's not painful. It's a lot better than having weepy skin, so I don't mind that. I'm just, I'm just worried a little bit because i'm visiting my grandparents tomorrow and hopefully they don't freak out <laughs> and um i scratched the back of my knees last night so they're very sore and every time i go up the stairs i come down they hurt so much um but yeah my hands are improving they do get itchy still and my arms are like this I just put a bit of pseudo cream on where I scratched it like I said just then this is how I had to go up and down the stairs because my knees hurt so much like the back of my knees hurt so much Today we walked around my boyfriend's hometown and it was really nice 
to see his old primary school and getting to know where he played and you know hung around um, as a child and then that night we went to visit my grandparents in Tokyo because um, we were going to um, go to Osaka the next day and we wanted to stay at my grandparents for one night before we went to Osaka and it was so nice to see them after three years and it was actually my first time introducing my boyfriend to them so it was really really nice.